Get ready, get set, imagine it. We are inside a very busy imagination station. It's going to sound and look like this in just a few minutes when you open a ten. Carl Nelson is here, and he's holding pieces of a bike that he dismantled out front. What's That's going right. on here? We're going to talk about things that spin today. All right. I don't know if you've ever thrown a football. If you throw a football and just kind of lob it yeah. without giving it any spin, it, it tumbles. Oh, you set off an alarm. <laughs> You, we gotta, did. you shouldn't be <laughs> dismantling bikes. So, right. so then what else happens? So if you spin the football, you, you notice it travels in a much better trajectory, right? So go ahead and spin right. this bicycle. Okay. Give, it a, give it a good spin. And go ahead and take that. Just, and feel yeah. how, it, how it feels. It has a weird it has kind a of weird pull feel towards to it, it, right? It's because spinning things have a property called angular momentum, all right? And they behave in well-defined ways, but maybe unexpected ways if you don't know the physics behind it. I don't. So I'm going to take this away from you. The best way for you to understand the physics of angular momentum is to experience it with your body. Great. I got a spinny platform right here. I want See you it. to step on the spinny Lazy Susan. Okay. Get, make sure you're centered and good. Okay. Don't spin. I'm going to give you some big weights. All right? I found these down in our shop. Big clamps, okay? <laughs> so what I'm going to have you do, let me talk you through it first. You're going to take these things. You're going to hold them out like this as far as you can. I'm going to spin you and avoid getting whacked in the head by these things. <laughs> All right? So please don't hit me. I'm going to spin you, and then just like an ice skater, you're going to bring these into your chest. Okay. And we're just going to see what happens. All right. All right. So go ahead and grab those, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay. All so the way out. Get them out. And up. this is the tricky part. Please don't hit me. I'm going to try to spin you. Okay. Get you going a little bit. Okay. Don't do it yet. Okay, whoa. bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in. Tight, 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 tight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now I'm dizzy. <laughs> but I didn't go faster towards the end before faster. I fell off. Right. So when you're spinning, where <laughs> the mass is, is important. Right? Okay. If the mass is way out here and then you change that distribution, you change your moment of inertia or your spinny mass, if you will. Spinny mass. Spinny mass, I like to call it. Um, now, if you're a physicist, I'm a physicist, and <laughs> sometimes you might want to play a practical joke on somebody. You take this idea of angular momentum okay. and you put it in a briefcase. No way. So I got a big spinning flywheel inside here. And I want you to experience this firsthand. All I want you to do, come stand on this side. Okay. And pick that up, pick up the handle, and walk straight over there. So in stand this where I'm at. Yep. Okay. Stand right here, pick up the suitcase, just lift it straight up. Now, right, right now you have a generator that's causing this to spin in the back. I got a little motor that's causing it to spin. Walk okay. straight that way. Okay. Quickly, turn back, come to me. Whoa. What, 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 what's, Whoa. what's going on Whoa. there? <laughs> The briefcase has a mind of its own. It has <laughs> angular momentum. And it turns out that angular momentum is one of those conserved properties. It doesn't like to change. So you're applying a crazy force on that handle, and wow. that briefcase is reacting to it, and it's trying to stay in that same plane of rotation, essentially. Oh my gosh. But is that a crazy feel? It is. So it's, it's kind of like a levitation trick. A little bit. You know, if you've ever replaced a hard drive in your computer at home, no. it's probably a thing that, well, <laughs> you, you can do this. If you take a hard drive out while it's still powered up, those things spin at 5,400 RPM, 7,400 RPM. Wow. If you take that hard drive and move it around, you will feel that same exact weird sensation <laughs> because it's essentially a little gyroscope. All right. Well, I should mention, kids, don't dismantle your home computers uh, without adult supervision and an expert physicist such as Carl around. But you can come down here and meet Carl for yourself. Maybe pick up his briefcase at the Imagination <laughs> Station. The hours are on your screen. They open up in just a few minutes. Carl, I don't know where you get your crazy ideas, but they are pretty fun. That right. is how you imagine it.